welcome back to my channel it's your girl s catrice and today we are going to be doing another get ready with me i'm actually getting ready to go to a gender reveal baby shower whatever you want to call it um and today i'm going for a like a neutral smoky cut crease type of look if you're new to the channel please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and become a part of our family we would love to have you and if you're not new go ahead and hit that like button so i know that you enjoy these type of videos and we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into the video so we're gonna start with the eyebrows i usually don't do them on camera but today i'm gonna do them on camera for you guys so you're welcome today i'm gonna be using the elf um no budge retractable eyeliner for my eyebrows this is what it looks like it's in the color black um and usually what i do is i like to start from the tail end of my eyebrow and then i work it towards the front so i usually just create the arch with light strokes you don't want to go like too hard with it because then it'll be like super dark but I do like the tail end of my brow to be a little bit darker than the rest. So this is how my brow is now. And then I just like to kind of finish off that arch connected towards the end. And then I'll fill in that very tail end of my brows. And then I leave it just like that. And in the front, I'll just make a couple hair strokes, hair like strokes in the front, just like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and finish this bra off, but I would just lightly brush those hairs up so it kind of fills it in just a little bit. And then I use like the tip part of the spoolie and then I'll blend that in going this way. All the way down to the end. And this eyeliner does kind of move or it smudges rather every now and then so you just have to be careful with how you're filling it in but that is the gist of how I do my eyebrows and then I clean it up see it's a little sparse right there so I'll take a little bit more of the pencil and I'll fill it in right where it's a little sparse just like that and then again, smudge it out. So this is how it's gonna look before, during, I guess, before, during. And then I will take the MAC 24 Hour Studio Fix Concealer. This is in the color NW45 on that. So I'll usually take a little bit and I'll put it on my hand. Just whatever's on the brush. And then I'll take a flat elf. I'm sorry, a flat BH Cosmetics eyebrow brush. And then I'll smudge out the bottom. Not smudge out, I'll outline the bottom. So I'll start at the very beginning and then I just take that line all the way across. So that is the first part of getting the brow cleaned up. So again, this is before and this is after or during. Then I'm gonna take the same 24 hour Studio Fits concealer. This is in the color NW51. Again, I'm gonna smudge it on my hand. See the two different colors. I'm gonna take the same brush And then I'm going to carve out the top again, starting from the beginning. And that's basically 
basically how I do my eyebrows. So before, after. All right, so my eyebrows are done. Y'all already know what comes next. The Airspun Translucent Powder. I'm going to put that all over my T-zone and I'm gonna try not to get it on my outfit because baby, we don't want that. So I'm sorry if I'm a little close, but I'm trying to lean over to this table. Alright, so now that I look like a ghost, I'm going to go ahead and put on, I'm going to do concealer first under my eyes. Um, so I'm going to do a light color, that same NW45 under my eyes. But I'm only going to do like the inner corner and then the outer corner. And then I'm going to put on my foundation and then I'm going to do another layer of concealer. And then I'm gonna take a wet beauty blender. It's already um, been wet and is now like drying, so it's not too wet. And then I'm gonna blend that in. But I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna let this sit for a second because the last time I did this, honey, it was moving around a little too much for my taste. So I'm gonna let it sit for a second and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I let it sit for about two minutes and I'm just gonna blend it in. I'm gonna try to keep it in place and then take the excess and blend out. So now I'm going to do my foundation. Again, I am using the Morphe Fluidity Foundation in the color F4.100. And I'm gonna use that same hand in which I had the concealer and I'm just gonna mix it. So about that much usually. I like to wet it with some, um, with some setting spray. And today I'm using the Kiss New York Professional Pro Touch Makeup Setting Spray for oil free or none long lasting oil control setting spray. About three sprays. And then I'm gonna take this Cleo stippling brush and I'm going to basically tap it into my skin. And I like to start away from my under eyes so I'll do everything around my under eyes and then go into my under eyes. So now that it looks like I have no eyelashes, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to conceal and contour my face. I'm going to be using the Il Maquillage F I'm Flawless Multi-Use Perfecting Concealer for my con con for my highlight on today. And then for my contour, I'm going to use that same eyeshadow from the Warrior 2 palette by Juvia's Place.
now that I'm back looking like a ghost, I'm gonna do my eyeshadow. I'm going to start with a white, well, not really white, it's like a beige base, and it's the color a Ahosi in the Warrior, the original Warrior palette. It's this color right here. It's like a really off, I'm not gonna say off-white, but it's like a tan base. Um, this just has a lot of fallout. So I'm trying to like pack it on my brush and then I'm gonna pack it on my eye. The reason why I do my eyeshadow after I put on my my um, my translucent powder is because when I have fallout, I'm gonna end up brushing it away with this powder. So I feel like this is the best time to do so. And I'm trying not to get this on my dress. So. Hey. to buff this out with the same contour color that I used from the Warrior 2 palette. And this is, I believe it's Kofi, but don't, don't quote me. You just have to go back to another video I did with this. And I'm going to do windshield wiper motions and this is going to be kind of like my, um, actually, no, I'm lying. I'm going to go with Yodit. And I'm going to do this color. It's a lighter brown color. I'm going to do it right in between my eyebrow bone and where I will be doing like a um, a shadow. I don't know the word I'm looking for, but you'll see. So I'm gonna use that light brown color first as the transition color. Warriors palette I'm gonna use that on top of that white color or that I guess beige color now these glitters on these warrior palettes bomb <laughs> to take this color right here in the middle um it's called morami morami i'm gonna take that color and i'm gonna put it on my inner corner all right so that color was a little bit more gaudy than i was hoping for so i'm gonna go in with this more golden shade on top of it is uh idea idea that shade right there <laughs> this is what it looked like after the eyeshadow is done and I'm gonna just go back in with the first shade and kind of just blend it in around the crease area. So right in here, just so it's not like 
to cut crease, but it's not like powder just everywhere. I kinda want it to blend seamlessly. Okay, so now I'm going to be using my e.l.f. liquid eyeliner in the color black. My favorite eyeliner of all time. I would never stop using it unless I came across something way better, but I doubt it. on and it did kind of get on my lid but I'm not even gonna worry about it so now I'm gonna take the Maybelline sky high mascara and I'm gonna coat my lashes and prep them for my falsies if I don't stab myself first and I got it on this eye as well all right so now that i have the first coat on i'm going to brush away any excess powder all right so now that the main part of my face is done I'm gonna apply my lashes today I am wearing the FD 77 lashes they're a little different from what I normally wear and I think they're a little longer as well but I want to do something a little bit more dramatic so I'm gonna go ahead and apply these and then we're gonna do blush so I'm gonna do these off camera because I can't never get right on camera so I'll be right back my eyes kind of got messed up underneath because you know my eyes love to cry but it's whatever we're gonna continue I'm gonna use that same worry to palette that Zama color right here in the middle and that is going to be my blush for today I want to go for something a little bit more light and flirty to go along with this flirty eye eyeshadow look so you know you just smile pucker up and tap I'm going to take then I'm gonna take that idea color as that I use in my inner corner that second color and that's going to be my highlight for today and I'm going to be very careful because these are very pigmented so I'm gonna do my nose first and I'm gonna tap it very light you see how pigmented that is and I barely put anything on and I'm gonna do right in the bridge of my nose I haven't worn a highlight like this in forever and then I'm gonna do just right here. And then I'm gonna blend that out with that, um, what I found. Um, mm. And then I'm just gonna blend that out by reapplying my blush. And then for my nose, I just blend out with my finger. like that you always want to double check to make sure it doesn't look streaky I blend with my fingers sometimes just to make it a little bit more flawless but yeah that's that and then now I'm gonna spray my face with that same oh this eyelash is gonna mess me up I'm gonna spray my face with the same um kiss New York professional setting spray I'm going to finish off my lips with 
what color do I want to use today? I'm going to use the NK Makeup Bold Lip Liner. This is in the color dark brown. And I'm gonna outline my lips. Tell me what you're seeing me. Gotta be. And then I'm going to be taking Taja's Luxe Boutique um, lip glosses. And today, I think I want to use Cremas. I'm going to use Cremas. It looks pink, but it's not too pink. I don't know how to describe it. It's the it's the more nude pink than the other colors. And I like to focus it on the middle. Classic nude along with cream us and see if I like that more. Alright, so I have my lip on. I had to fix it just a little bit. I had to go to my classic LA Girls Pro, um, not LA Girls Pro, but LA Girls lip liner and i had to go over i don't too much like that nk bold it looks good on the bottom lip but not the top lip but that's neither here nor there i'm about to fix this eye again for the third time and then we'll come back with the final look final look i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up and if you're new to the channel and you made it all the way through go ahead and hit that subscribe button i would love to have you a part of my family i post every tuesday and thursday so you need to turn on that notification bell so that it tells you every single time i post a new video again i thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time <laughs>